when the Fujifilm X-H2S came out, every review stated that this camera's dynamic range, especially in f 2 was on par with the likes of a Sony a7S III or a Panasonic S5 II, which are both full-frame cameras. It essentially being a cinema camera in that regard. Now, I've been wanting to purchase this camera for a while, but I could never really justify its price for my own current situation. And that's why I did a review on the XS20, which recently came out uh, about the specs and stating that that was probably the camera that was ideal for me in both um, offering amazing features and an affordable price. But I recently received some unexpected money uh, family wise, which put me in the position to actually purchase the camera and just get it out of my system instead of purchasing the XS20 and putting myself in that middle tier again with, with a few compromises. So, I pulled the trigger and I've had this camera for about three to four weeks now. And I wanted to test its dynamic range in the different profiles you can shoot in. Of course, F-Log 2 was the first on my list alongside with the original F-Log and then the classic Chrome profile with the dynamic range set to 400%. So, here's the footage. Okay guys, starting off with F-Log 2, I'm going to be overexposing by about two stops and the highlights are still not clipping. So as you can see, a lot of detail there. It's almost impossible to clip the highlights in f 2. Exposed right down the middle, the scene looks like this. As you can see, autofocus is still keeping up. There's some detail there in the window in the skies, a little bit, um, but a lot of noise because of that high base ISO of 1250. I kept the footage as is, no noise reduction, and keep in mind this footage is supposed to look like shit because there's no added light. Moving on over to F-Log, as you can see lower ISO 640 exposed down the middle, but we lose some of that sky. The scene looks like this. We still have some detail there in the window, but a little less than an F-Log 2. Shadows and midtones are a little bit darker, a little bit harder to bring back up, but still pretty acceptable in my opinion. Moving over to the last profile, classic Chrome DR400. You can see we lose almost all of that sky, so scene looks like this. You're going to see that the autofocus is struggling as well. Shadows and midtones are a lot harder to bring back up. We lose all of that sky in the window. So camera's definitely struggling here in this scene. Now if we bring them all together, it looks like this. Both f locks pretty good in the highlights in the window. We keep that blue. We lose all of that blue in the classic chrome. Shadows and midtones are exponentially darker moving over to the right, so F Log 2 has a little bit smoother roll off, in my opinion. As you can see, you will absolutely get the most dynamic range using F Log 2, although you will have to take the noise into account. What surprised me most was the huge difference between the classic chrome and both F Logs. I didn't really think F Log 1 and 2 were that different. So there seemed to be some color shift using the official Fuji LUTs converting them to the Eterna profile. Um, but the classic Chrome clearly lost a lot of detail in the highlights and the shadows were much harder to bring back up. That's all for this test. Take what you will from it. For me, um, I will be sticking to F-Log 2 for the most of my projects unless there's no problem shooting film simulations like classic Chrome and I have to get a clean quick look uh, for a video. Till next time guys.